Irish youth of Elugu, a term community in Okutumo, Ekwo, local government area of Ebony State, as the weekend set ablaze the country home of one Mr. Celestine Oka. Mr. Oka is the husband of Ebony Commissioner for Housing and Urban Development, Wendy Uchechi Oka. According to a source, the incident happened on Saturday. The source said Mr. Oka was accused of involvement in some crimes in the community, which he vehemently denied. His deniers did not stop his summoning by the community's village head, who ordered him to swear an oath to prove his innocence in keeping with the customs and traditions of the community. But Mr. Oka, it was gathered, refused to swear the, to the oath. He insisted, resorted to calling the attention of the police. His refusal and involvement of the police infuriated the youth around who pounced on him before moving to the location of his house where they vandalized and set the property ablaze. Not done, the youth proceeded to burn another building belonging to another member of the community whose child is named after the commissioner. By the time the police could get to the scene, the destruction had been carried out, but they succeeded in rescuing Mr. Oka and whisked him out of the area. The community, it was learned, warned the police to take Mr. Oka out of the community and warned him not to enter the community again. Police spokesman Lovett Oda confirmed the incident. She said the police was able to rescue, Ms. rescue the victim. Mrs. Oda noted that when the police went back on Sunday, the community dug a deep trench to prevent them from accessing the community. She noted that the police was able to restore order in the area and have warned the community to tow the line of peace to settle whatever disputes they may have with the victim. The victim whereabouts could not be ascertained at press time. Calls to his phone lines were not answered. His wife, the Commissioner for Housing and Urban Development, Mrs. Uchechi Wendy Oka, refused to react on the issue when a reporter called, uh, called her on phone. I don't want to, she said, I don't want to make any comments for now, said the Commissioner in an emotion laden voice. Commissioner for Internal Security and Border Peace, Stanley Okoro Emeha wondered why the community would take the laws into their hands. He said the state government has waded into the matter with a view to amicably settling the matter. Okay? But now, as it is, uh, we don't even know the reason or the offense that he has committed. They didn't even say the offense that he has committed. And to the extent of calling him to come and swear and hold, whether the offense is related to to a uh, traditional way of settling matter. That was why they called the man to come and swear an oath. And the man said he can't, he couldn't swear oath. And, you know, that may be the case need there to be resolved. Uh, uh, I don't know, by, by the police. That was why he called the police. And, and these people did what they did. But as it is now, nobody know the offense the man committed for them to have done this kind of a thing. I think irrespective of anything though the youth might be angry because if we hear what the man has done whether well, they could not even tell anybody i think uh, they need to really get to the youth or those who are in charge or the leader the community leader to tell nigerians what the man has done uh, to have degenerated to that level instead of them going to the police but irrespective of the offense the man must have committed they would have just gone to the police and report the man see oh see what this man did do and all of that instead of a uh, resourcing to a traditional way of a settling matter to swear an oath <laughs> that one <laughs> he gets a cb so irrespective of that or anything the constituted authority that should have handled that case should have been police. Maybe they just felt that, oh, by the time they get to the police, the police will not be able to do anything. And for them to have told him to come and swear an oath, you know, they know that they are, they maybe they, they do the same thing together. You know, you know, it's going to be a community that, in that community, that is what is obtainable. But no matter what, the, the law is still the law. Maybe in no time we are going to be hearing the detail of what the man actually did. Because the way it is now, the the youth are really they really mean business. They really mean business, and they told the man not to enter 
the community again that is really really serious of course the woman will not be able to say anything because it's really devastating only god knows the uh, the condition of the man if not that the police got there on time maybe it would have been a, a, a sorry state as we speak and someone says here that this is wickedness what offense has he committed equal i'm afraid of you the progress of new beings are considered a taboo okay why must he swear they are not serious. They should be dealt with. The man is an evil man. Okay. Are they okay? Did they want? Uh, uh, did they want be a fraud without unity? Or oh, God forbid, I don't know what this person is saying over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. You don't know what he committed, and you are making noise. Must you mention be and everything? I don't even know why people uh, insisted on one Nigeria Yoruba. That claim to come from South South Biafra are far better than you. Okay, this one is talking of a okay. What's an elderly fool? Look at what a 65 year old fool like you will be saying. Niger militants that vandalize your country pipeline in the world. All these ones are just abusing themselves because somebody has even mentioned a Biafra. Because what we are saying now, what we are even hearing has nothing to do with a Biafra. I think uh, if a uh, people, two people or two communities are even quarreling in, in the southwest. I think it's to, it's to see be as a result of a Biafra people. If people are fighting in the north, it is Biafra, Biafra that causes it. <laughs> okay, it is unlawful to take laws into your hands. The criminal code has provision for every crime in Nigeria. If it's found wanting, report to police. If cultural or traditional things, let uh, steps taken not be a uh, repugnant of natural justice equity and good conscience okay someone said okay okay Igbos has community laws and customs that guide them when elders take decisions according to the law of the land no any other authorities government or court is allowed in the matter in most serious issues citizens are forbidden to invite nor involve police in such matters okay we have established cultures not borrowed ones like you operate in your enslaved communities okay somebody is telling us a, another thing what a, we don't know that they have a customer abi what is it called yeah the person says a, yeah, community laws and customs that guide them like seriously <laughs> i would like you guys to shed more light on that okay the man is evil they accuse him of being responsible for those who are being kidnapped in the community he would have Taking the hold to back up his claim, I wipe, I weep for the for that village because of so many atrocities that is taking place there. Our youth are no are not progressing. Some of our politicians that will bring development to the community, they will write petition and put the person down. Okay, okay. So because of a kidnapping and whatever in that uh, that community. That is why the ang uh, youth are so angry. You know, I was even saying that for them to have taken that decision, something deeper must have happened. But even even at that, the case is supposed to be taken to the police because they know that even they get to the police, they will not do anything. Maybe simple thing is just for them to say for him to just swear and hoot. Of course, he might not believe in that. The thing is just really dicey. Honestly, it's not. It's really dicey. But by and large, I think uh, going to the police station would have solved the whole thing. In my opinion, I don't know what you think. Ah, about that okay someone says uh that is what they inherited from ancestors why biafra can't work when this generation of criminal exists okay hey, biafra again someone say it is my village we know what the man committed you think we support evil like northerners are uh, you people from creation are criminals and evil all over the day okay uh, which crime did he commit in the village that can that can't be mentioned? But somebody is telling us that a kidnapping of some people that they finger the man in such activities. So since uh, they are community people, you know, before this uh, issue of uh, democracy and uh, all this uh, law, 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 we bring from the from all this uh, foreign law, there, there, there was a way they used to go about all this, uh, all this thing in those days. You know, we watch all these uh, local local films. You see that they set all those things traditionally. They have a way of doing it. There's nothing like 
even lynching people. There's nothing like a extra judicial killing. Simple thing. Take a note. If you know that you have not done this, okay, take this and drink. But they believe that because of civilization, oh, everything is being uh, swept under the carpet. But now some people still do it, even in, in even our local uh, villages in our local communities, people still go through that this thing. They don't even involve police. It still happens. They don't just take laws into their hands by this thing. Because maybe I'm sure the man knows quite well that he was not supposed to invite the police. They would have done it traditionally. Because they just invited him, just come and take a note. If you know that you are okay, you are clean, there's no big deal about it. You just take the oath and listen. And again, he might say, okay, that is not his belief. You know, I wouldn't want to dabble into what I don't really know, but I'm just trying to explain what really happened. But no, by and large, they ought not to have even touched him and all of that. Because at the end of the day, police will take over, whether traditional or not traditional, police will take over the whole, whole thing. And they have told them that they have to do everything. Uh, everything possible just to restore peace in that community so guys uh, let us hear your opinion concerning this thing leave your comment below and let us really learn from you thank you